Welcome back to Living Local. We first introduced you to our next guest two years ago right here on Living Local. Deja Taylor, an Iowa City West High School senior at the time, invented one-of-a-kind medical stitches that change color when an infection is detected. So today we're checking in with Deja to get an update on her invention and her latest TED Talk that's happening this weekend. Deja, so great to see you. It's lovely to see you as well. I am so excited to talk to you. Likewise. Okay, so for those who may not be familiar yes. with your invention, they, they're probably hiding under a rock, I'm guessing, <laughs> but tell us a little bit more about these stitches and, and how you came up with the idea. Yeah, so I created color changing stitches to detect infections as a part of a science fair opportunity that I had as a junior in high school. So I raised my hand in class one day, said I want to participate in the science fair, and that literally changed my life. Um, so yeah, stitches change color using beet juice. Um, they kind of perform a litmus test in a way um, because our wounds, when they're infected, increase in pH. The stitch is able to pick up on that and then change color to let the patient know that you know something is not right here. Um, you need to seek medical attention and um, just advocate for themselves. So. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. So most people, when they're doing these science fair projects, yeah. I'm sure the teacher probably thought, oh, here's another light bulb <laughs> invention or a volcano or something. Yeah. And here you are yeah. inventing these stitches that yeah. change color. It's yeah. amazing. Thank so you. smart. Thank you. So give us an update on where things stand with this invention. Yeah. So right now I'm still really deep in the research process. Okay. Um, one thing that I've learned in this journey is that it takes a very long time to develop a medical device. So yeah. uh, making sure that, you know, just crossing all my IT's dotting all of my I's in um, the research phase, you know, there's FDA hurdles that you have to jump through and um, crafting a team to make a product commercially viable from yeah. a science fair prototype to an actual <laughs> product, right? So, um, so I'm going through all of those motions and I'm having a really good time while doing it. I'm learning so much, which is amazing and really like just staying focused on the purpose and the mission throughout it all. Yeah, it does sound like you've been busy. So uh, talk to us about what else you've been up to since graduating. It's, it's been two years, right, since yes, you graduated yes, high school. So you plan to go to college? Yes, okay. so I'm actually at the University of Iowa now. I've taken a gap year, Okay. but um, I'm in the global health arena, so the perfect intersection between your physical sciences and your social sciences. So basically personifying what I do through my research and my education. Okay. And so that's been really great. Aside from that, doing a lot of like community work. So so um, I did this massive event in Iowa City called Deja Day, and that was in celebration of my, 21st, my 20th birthday, and just celebrating like all things STEM and um, really just being helpful in introducing kids yeah. to STEM and tons of activities. So and that's so important too absolutely. to get kids, you know, involved, especially yes. at an early age, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes, very early. So we had everyone from you know big kids to, to little, <laughs> to little kids, kids and people were becoming drone pilots because we had um, some really cool folks from California come out and do a drone demonstration. It was incredible and I really hope to continue that yeah. year on, year on. That's awesome that yeah. you're doing that. Thank so you. awesome. So you have an upcoming TED talk this weekend yes. at the Capitol Theater in Davenport. Yes. So what will you be speaking about? So I've actually had this vision since I was a sophomore in high school to do a TED talk. Like, I'm not kidding you. My really? mother can attest to this. <laughs> um, so I will be talking about, um, it'll be an open letter to young visionaries. So people who are kind of in that weird phase, you know, in, in high school, like they, they're not really sure what to do or they're not really sure how to accomplish what they want to do. And so I'm kind of talking to them. It's really an open letter to them and just expressing a couple things that I'm not going to, you know, spill too okay. much. But, um, <laughs> but really just identifying the really important aspects of your journey and what you're going to go through as you accomplish your vision. Yeah, and yeah. so you've known since a young age that you know why you wanted to do this yes. and and change yes. people's lives, yeah. really. Yeah. You know, and and like I said starting so young with some of yeah. these um, young kids mm -hmm. and getting them involved. Yeah. Um, what are you what are you hoping that 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 folks will take away from this this TED talk? Ooh, I'm hoping that they'll leave like really energized and yeah. inspired. Like I know that's a bit cliche, but like that is my only hope. Like all I can do is tell you what I've learned through my journey. Like these are personal things that I'm sharing um, that I've learned through um, trial and error, talking to some of the nation's largest companies, like their CEOs, and um, and just following my path and my yeah. vision. So I'm just yielding all of that advice and like 
pushing it forward. Um, so I just really hope that they receive that yeah. and it reaches the right person. That's uh, all I want. Are, are you working on anything else? Oh, uh, I'm working can we so expect much. maybe more inventions <laughs> from you? I don't know about inventions <laughs> quite yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, it takes a long time, but um, but yeah, I'm working on tons of things. Um, feel free to like follow my journey on Instagram, LinkedIn, um, through my website as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, I hope to get STEM workshops off the ground. Uh, I'm really looking for sponsors to make sure you know we're removing as many barriers as possible for kids to be able to be integrated into yeah. STEM education and learning. Yeah. Um, aside from that, still doing speaking engagements and keynotes um, around the country and hopefully outside of the country. We'll see. And, I um, believe it. But, I believe it. <laughs> but yeah, no, tons of things going on all the time. I'm and then school coming up this upcoming spring semester. So um, I'm rocking and rolling on all fronts. Well, I am so excited <laughs> for you. I, I, I mean, the future is so bright for you, Deja. Thank and you. thank you so much you. for coming on to talk to us, yes, okay? And give us an update. Yes, All right, so you can catch Deja's TEDx talk, TED talk at TEDx, I should say, Davenport this Thursday at the Capitol Theater. Tickets are $20 and doors open at 5 p.m. And you can find more information on Deja and follow her at DejaTaylor.com. And we'll also have all those details as well posted on OurQuadCities.com.